Hi guys, it's Thursday and I'm back for another video and welcome to Really Young Gash Out on Days of the Week. Now this week is How To Week and today I'm going to show you how to be an attention whore. Now are you jealous of those people online who seem to get all the attention and none of it goes on to you? Well, have no fear, Really Young Gash Out is here and in this video I will show you three steps how to become a professional attention whore. Step number one. Now this one is very important. You need to get rid of all of your self-respect, all of your pride and all of your dignity because there's no place in that and any attention whore's life. Step number two, the camera whore. Take absolutely loads and loads of pictures of yourself and upload them online. And why not use some of these fabulous captions? <laughs> I'm so ugly. Oh my god, what is this? LOL, keep or delete. And bonus points for those topless pictures. Step number three, why not use the fabulous location? Facebook. Now the best way to get noticed on Facebook is your status updates. So why don't you post one of these? Ugh. My life can't get any worse. Ugh. Why does it always happen to me? Somebody needs to grow up. And my personal favourite, sad face. But under no circumstances, if someone asks you what's wrong, do you answer them with the real answer? Because let's be real, we just want attention. And for my fourth and final one, be like Rick Perry or Rick Santorum. I don't think I need to explain this one. So there you go. Follow these steps and you will become an attention whore and the most popular person out there. Please note, following these steps may result in you having no friends and everything in your complete and utter twat. Oh, hi there. It's Rolly and Gesha and I'm back. But hi guys, just hello. I am back. Hello. Um, hope all of you had a nice fabulous week. Now, I'm going to do this bit really quick because I don't want this video to go on for much longer. Okay, so Miles wants to know, do we collect anything? Now, we did do this a while ago, so I'm going to show you something that I used to collect. I used to get these uh, magazines called Horrible Science. I like got every single one of them in the set. There's like 80 of them and they had loads of like bonus ones. Um, it's the first thing that I ever completed, so horrible science. Ryan wants to know, are we our own worst enemies? Definitely. The amount of times I haven't done videos um, because I've been like, oh, people won't find it funny or, you know, I just assume that it's gonna be shit, like I don't bother doing it. Yeah, but definitely, we, we are, I would say. Brian and Danny wants to know, how often do we wash our hair and get it cut? As you probably can tell, I don't have much hair left. But um, I, I try, to, I do wash it every day, which is really awful, but I try not to, but, but like I feel gross if I haven't washed it. And I actually cut my own hair. I've got like a shaver and I just shave my own head because like it's so much easier and cheaper and you can't really go wrong. And Scott wants to know, what about Britney Spears being an X Factor judge? Um, don't get me wrong, I love her to death. I love Britney, I'm a massive Britney fan, but I don't think she could handle because, like being a judge. Like I just can't really see her being able to cope with being a judge on the X Factor. Like I just can't see it. I did actually do a video on my channel about how to turn a straight man gay. Um, I'll put it as a video response if you wanna come and watch that. Um, or you can just click on this link here. BAM! And that will take you to my channel. And yeah, so I'm gonna go. I'll see you next week. Like, comment, subscribe, do everything. I'm sorry this video is odd. I'm going to hit myself with a basket. And yeah. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed my video, guys. Um, I don't really know how it was gonna turn out. It just literally was like, <gasps> Jesus fucking Christ.